what could be lurking in the Radio Shack box. It's a an old multimeter. Now I bought this in the States for some ooh, I dread to think how many years ago now. Um and uh, one of the reasons that I bought it uh was that it has a serial interface. Now uh this was running back on uh Windows 95 and uh, I do have a machine with a serial interface still running 95 but it doesn't really fit in with uh, the needs of the modern day shall we say so I've procured this uh, RS232 to USB adapter from Banggood and uh, let's see if we can drag this meter kicking and screaming into the 21st century. So here on the Windows 10 machine we've plugged the uh, the serial to USB adapter in and we can see it's recognized here as the uh, COM4 and we can see the port settings in there so that all will work fine. So what I've had to do in the end was to use the virtual box to install uh, Windows ME and uh, run the original software. Uh, it's not particularly elegant but it's functional. Functional if not aesthetically pleasing. So we can see here in the setup we've selected the device on, uh, on COM4 and if we power it up now this establishes the connection to uh, to the meter and you can see I've got it on uh, on voltage and it's just measuring the voltage of a, of a lithium cell. Let me just disconnect that for a moment. That goes to zero and you can see the other, if I switch the meter around now on ohms so with it on ohms if I short the test leads together we can see the the reading drops there oh, it's not the uh, least resistance in the world for these leads so we can see that it's talking to the meter perfectly uh, even under this emulation of, uh, of Windows me um, we've also got this, the scoping functions here, so we can draw a graph, and uh, I'll show you just as a final thing. I was just testing a lithium polymer cell to watch the uh, the end uh, end phase where it goes into uh, from constant voltage, uh, it terminates the charge, and then the cell just floats. So that'll be the final frame that I'll show you.